Welcome to 12 to Your Health, I'm Dr. Derek De Silva. Well, think you need to pump a lot of iron to sculpt that perfect physique? Not the case. You can achieve great results just by using your own body weight. And here to explain and show us a few moves are Mike and Susan Keenan, owners of KM Fitness Studios in Manasquan. Welcome back. Thanks for having us back. Wonderful to be here. Pleasure, pleasure. So using your own body weight instead mm -hmm. of carrying around a bunch of weights with mm -hmm. you. Talk to me about that. Well, the reason we do that is a lot of our clients travel and need to be able to exercise in the hotel room or moms with new children. They want to get a great workout. We're going to in introduce the concept of rest-based training, going until you can't, resting until you can. That way you get the maximum benefit of the exercise and then you move on to the next activity. So let's get right into it. Show sure. us a couple of moves Okay, here. we're going to show you a progression. Susan's going to start with an upper body movement. She's going to do a push-up on knee. She's working chest, shoulders, lats arms and abdominals. Then she's going to jump to on her toes, which is the next progression up, doing the push-up that way. And then the final progression on this is what we call up, up, down, down, push-up, where she's going from a plank movement into a push-up, and she's going to do a push-up in between. Wow. Great. Okay. I'm impressed. Now stand up, please. <laughs> okay, so we just did upper body, and Susan did it until fatigue. Now she's going to go into a lower body movement. She's ready to begin, so she's going into a squat. Now we what if she gets tired here? Does well, she stop? Yeah, she goes until she can't, and then she'll rest until she can complete the next activity. Okay. So now she's going into a lunge movement, which is a little more challenging. And also, with a lot of our clients, they have tight hip flexors. This is going to stretch out her hip flexors. Take it to the third level, we do a split squat uh, jump. And this is great. Remember we talked last right. year about skiing, getting the body prepared and for balance. activity. And, and balance. balance, coordination, yeah. and posture. Okay, Susan, the next movement we want to go into is abdominal movement. So Susan's going to start in a plank. She's going to draw her belly button up. And we find this works out really, really well for a lumbar stabilization. A lot of our clients come to us with chronic low back pain. Mm -hmm. Okay, the next progression from this is plank with movement. So she's wow. going to bring the knee up to the chest. I like she's this. going to try to keep her hips down. And then the final movement on this activity is what we call our Spider-Man. And this really brings in the oblique muscles, which is wow. great for your tennis game because yeah. it involves the rotary component of the thoracic spine and it allows us to perform different sports type activities. I need activities. to come and work out with you. I great. like this. Okay, Susan, stand up. I so like this. So this would be uh, the rest-based training, we want to get a lactic acid response, we get all the good healing compounds cascading down, and it helps to build strength and endurance. Why is this better than weights, very quickly? It's not better than weights, it's different. There's no objective way to measure how hard she's working. That's mm -hmm. why we go to go until you can't, rest until you can. I'm not trying to get her to quit, I'm trying to force her to rest so I get the proper hormonal response from the exercise. That was excellent. I was very impressed. I mean, I, I have not seen a lot of women do push-ups. <laughs> but that was that was really good. That was really excellent. So she does the bottom job. line here is do something, be active, yes. and, and get it done. Try to work to fatigue so that you get the maximum response from the exercise. Thank you so much for joining us. Keep up the great work, by Thanks the way, Thanks for having Susan. us. And here's what we're working on for next week. And remember, you can catch 12T Health every Saturday and Sunday at 15 minutes past the hour, starting at 6 a.m. Time now for a health bite of the week. Not sure if you have athlete's foot. According to WebMD, it's actually a fungal infection that can cause peeling, redness, itching, burning, and sometimes blisters and sores. Be aware that fungus thrives and grows in, in shoes without air circulation. Athlete's foot is usually treated with topical antifungal lotions or oral medications. And once again, if you have any health questions you'd like to ask, email them to me at 12thHealth at News12.com or head over to my Facebook page and post your questions right there. Once again, I thank you very much for joining us today. Here's a look at this week's Community Health Calendar.